Those of you all in Singapore probably already know that our circuit breaker measures are going to be extended for another month. Another month! How am I supposed to do well for my O's? This is how my graduating schoolmates reacted. Get money, get money, get money, get money. New money, money Hey, rich boss, silly quick. Hope niggas want to check. Shit tight, no stick. Just bought a Cadillac. Throw some bees on that bitch. Just bought a Cadillac. Throw some bees on that bitch. Just bought a Cadillac. If you're bored in the house, and I'm in the house bored, bored in the house, you can clean up the house. Or at least your room. <laughs> Designate one day, or even like three hours, to get your vacuum cleaner out. Vacuum your room, wipe down your room. Make sure your room is conducive, neat and tidy to learn in. Remember, every day before you go to sleep, tidy your space once again and just tidy your space periodically throughout the day. This will help you maintain your tidiness of your surroundings. Also, when you wake up in the morning and see a clean table, you'll feel more motivated to do your work. Learning at home is the hardest thing ever because you get very untidy and distracted all the time. And one good way to try to help with your productivity is to keep your learning materials really tidy and easy to find. This way, you'll actually want to do your work. Amazing, now you have all the time in the world to take out stuff from your messy messy file and put them into your subject binders. I used the same file and same file system that I used back in school so I feel a sense of normalcy at home. Also, try to follow your school timetable as much as possible. This way, you can be accountable for what you're doing. For planning-wise, what I like to do is schedule a monthly plan, weekly plan as well as a daily plan. What I've done for the upcoming mid-year holidays is a structured revision plan. That is my monthly plan. I also like doing a weekly to-do list, which I do in Microsoft To-Do. Essentially, I'll list down all the tasks that I plan to do that week in this app, which is To-Do by Microsoft. For my daily task, I would use this um, app again and add it to my day, which is a very great function of this app. And sometimes if I'm feeling too um, unproductive, I will write out my to-do list. This helps dramatically, I don't know why. Maybe it's a physical sense of commitment. Also, also, I love using Google Apps during this time because it helps me get all my learning materials and gets my life together. Yep. <laughs> so I use Google Calendar to plan out my events like usual. For online lessons, like for the past few weeks, our teachers will send us reminders online to join Google Meets, so I also add that into my Google Calendar. Sometimes, all you need are your friends by your side to stay motivated and productive. Luckily, we have the power of technology and we can conveniently call our friends anytime. Try to find a study buddy that helps you stay productive and motivated, like my dinosaur. Get a plant, spruce up your surroundings, your room with your favourite album covers or 
pictures of your favourite celebrities. Also, make the vibe in your room really nice by blasting some awesome music which I'll be linking down below. Change up your study environment by moving to the coffee table, moving to the dining table or even doing your work on the floor. At least you are staying really productive and motivated. Before I go to sleep every night, I will put out the next day's work in a conspicuous pile in this corner of my table. When I wake up, I'll feel driven to go complete that pile of work. Yeah, I like it when my to-do list literally assaults me. Take some time for yourself. Take some time to exercise and even though we have to don a mask every time we step outside, go outside and get your mind off things. Things might build up at home, you might feel anxious, you might feel emo like what I've been doing for the past two weeks at home but it's okay you have the greenery all around you to support you emotionally so yes relax when you need to by taking some time off work this will allow you to stay relaxed and refreshed boosting your productivity because i have more time now i can exercise for longer and this helps me feel even more relaxed to be honest, I am a person who does not like to step out of the house. Uh, I haven't stepped out of the house in maybe like two weeks plus. <laughs> so I've been just at home. But I've been using my time to relax at home by doing some things that I've always wanted to do. Like a bit of ukulele, which is extremely terrible. But I had fun doing that. And that's what's most important, okay? Have fun and relax. <laughs> Also, I have been editing and just doing some art. <laughs> I also like taking time off work once in a while to go play with my guinea pigs, give them some food and just interact with them because they really calm me down. The other day, I just spent 3 hours making bubble tea at home. It was um, tiring but... Whoa, shit. I felt so relaxed after that. It was... Perfect. This is kind of like a subset of the previous point, but self-care. I'm literally the worst at self-care, but I'm trying to incorporate some daily routines and things I normally don't do. So I've started like having some sort of a skincare routine and I usually don't take the extra effort to take care of my skin. I literally only use facial wash ever since this like circuit breaker thing started i've gotten into the routine of using these products daily and i think my skin has been um, pretty good <laughs> i've also put in extra effort to do some things that make myself feel good and this may seem weird but yeah i will put some makeup even at home it somehow helps me feel like i have something important that i'm attending although i'm literally attending school at my desk but it helps me like stay motivated and productive throughout the day. As if I'm like <laughs> Lastly, try to eat healthier when you're at home. We're at home, yes. There's water at home right? So please go drink more water. This will help you prevent getting sick and just staying healthy and less lethargic throughout the day. I'm not the best at this. I have a really um, effed up sleep schedule. When I do get really like enough sleep, I feel so much more energetic and it helps with my productivity so much. So try to get enough sleep have a regular sleep schedule and not wake up at 12 p.m. During this rather solemn time, take time to appreciate every experience no matter how small it is. What this situation has taught us is the unpredictability of life. So don't fret over anything. Instead, be grateful for every moment. Look up.
drop them drops, I'ma show you how to 